Hello, my name is Mitchell Gaines. I'm a meteorologist here at the National Weather Service office in Mount Holly, New Jersey. Thank you for joining us on the video tour of our forecast office. You are looking at one of our main, main weather stations here at the National Weather Service. We use this to measure wind, temperature, pressure, relative humidity, and the amount of rainfall among many things here at the National Weather Service office. You can see here we actually receive a lot of our data through satellite which we use in day-to-day -day operations. This comes from our headquarters and other national centers in the Washington DC area. The data is then received by the satellites and transmitted by underground wires in, into our forecast office building. During the winter months we use a flat surface called a snowboard to measure our snowfall. Grass can sometimes be uneven in spots which may cause difficulty in measurements. Also concrete, e even though it is flat, can sometimes be a warmer surface and lead to faster snow melt. We measure snowfall in the winter time when there's snow four times a day. For our rainfall instruments you can see here a large rain gauge which is actually open. It is eight inches in diameter. We have it set up for the winter time right now which allows snow and ice to collect in the gauge. However in warmer months we have a, we have a tube and a funnel which allows all the water to collect and move into the tube. We then insert a long ruler into the tube which measures rainfall to the nearest hundredth of an inch. You can see here there are several computer monitors located in this room. This is actually our training room. We have one regular Windows PC and then several other monitor monitors for forecasters to practice gaining proficiency and and enhancing their skills through various training exercises. This is actually called the WES, the Weather Event Simulator. You can see here we do have a lot of computers here in our office and we have a central room which actually runs all the computers. This is called our server room. You can see we've now moved out into the front lobby here at the National Weather Service office in Mount Holly. You can see there is desk space for our administrative support assistant. We also have a situational awareness display and waiting area, along with several logos on our wall. That includes our parent organization, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. All right, we see here several manager's offices, science and operations officer, and the meteorologist in charge. Now we will walk into the conference room where we see a large meeting table coupled with a situational awareness display ready for meetings with core partners and to give tours to folks such as the general public and other organizations. We actually have a, a considerable library at our disposal. This features books on all aspects of meteorology including thunderstorms, tornadoes, nor'easters, and blizzards. We utilize this information often in our day-to-day -day operations. See now we are on the operations floor, the heart of the National Weather Service. You can see several workstations for long-term, short-term, aviation marine forecasting, along with public service and hydrology. You can also see as this image pans through three main television screens called situational awareness displays that allows us to keep up to date on current news trends when active weather strikes. First desk we arrive at here is the long term desk. You'll notice the forecaster is working on the afternoon forecast package that is due to be sent out at 4 o'clock. We issue the forecast for the long term for hours 36 through day 7, twice a day due by 4 a.m. and 4 p.m. You can see here we have a meteorologist working on our short-term forecast desk. He's monitoring the current conditions and updated the, updating the forecast for the first 36 hours at least once every three hours. This desk also has primary responsibility for the short-term marine and aviation forecasts. Here we have our hydrologist monitoring various river forecast points across the region. We are now on the public service desk where you can see several different types of data that need to be quality controlled. These will be done during the day by the public service desk along with social media and answering your telephone calls. So here we have three main contact lines to contact necessary emergency management officials. We have to the left the New Jersey state phone which we can use to contact any county 
in the state of New Jersey or have them contact us in case of adverse weather impacting their county. Also, we have the National Hurricane Center phone, which we use to contact the Hurricane Center, and they use to contact all the Weather Service forecast offices. The phone to the right features, uh, features an ability for us to contact any of any of the counties in the other states, such as Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Maryland. See here, we've arrived at our final desk. This is the radar desk. You can see here there is a meteorologist quality controlling and interrogating radar data to see if any advisory or warning products need to be issued based on what he or she is seeing on radar. As you can see here, we, have, we finally have, are able to zoom up on one of the images that you've been seeing throughout the presentation. This is the Global Forecast Systems Model, one of many me models that meteorologists use here at the Weather Service to help predict the weather. These models take all sorts of current weather observations and extrapolate using mathematical formulas over the next seven days. This is the Global Forecast System Model that you're looking at now. Here on this display, we have a satellite imagery with observations from our automated surface observation stations known as ASOS overlaid. You can see here these ASOS observations provide temperature, for example, 32 at Philadelphia, dew point, the amount of moisture in the air, 27 degrees at Philadelphia, a visibility of 10 miles. Also, it's showing overcast skies by the grade and circle and relatively light winds. These observations are used by meteorologists throughout the forecast process. On this screen, we have the Graphical Forecaster Editor, which allows forecasters to draw in forecast updates. The option selected below is for a tool called Model Blend, which can incorporate aspects from several different models into the forecast. Although a lot of the work is done on the computer, a lot of forecaster experience and intuition is used in the process to know good models, good model data, from bad model data. Here we have our hurricane tracking map that we use to track all the tropical systems during a particular hurricane season. The map shown is actually from last season in 2015. You can see we had a couple of landfalls, one in North Carolina and another tropical landfall in Texas. We also have administrative space for our meteorologists and other personnel here at the office in which we complete various duties. You can see we're going to conclude our video tour today by walking down the other hallway and out this exit. You can see there are restrooms, a supply closet, and other manager's offices along this hall. Thank you for watching our video tour of the National Weather Service office in Mount Holly, New Jersey. If you have any questions, please contact us here at the National Weather Service at 609-261-6600.